Well, let's turn now to policy, because there have been uh, some policy wobbles. Yesterday, Kemi Badenoch said apparently to the hustings of the uh, Conservative Environment Network that she agreed with the net zero uh, target, the net zero ambitions, and then later uh, in the media was saying, well, actually, that number, 2050, could shift. Uh, what does she actually believe on this issue? Well, I think Kemi's been clear that absolutely we need to aim for, for net zero. We need to reduce our global uh, con contribution to uh, climate change. But it's very important we take other countries with us. And we need to do it in a way that is pragmatic, that is deliverable, that doesn't uh, damage our economy in the process. So I think it's absolutely right. Although we're committed to that outcome, we continue to review how we're going to achieve it to make sure that we're doing it in a way that is not going to uh, damage our economy, but also importantly, take other countries with us. If we, if we wreck our economy in the process of us reaching net zero, no other country in the world will then follow us because they'll look at us and think, why on earth would we do that? So I think doing it in a measured and sustainable way is the right approach. And we need to keep that, th that, that date, that target date, under review uh, whilst maintaining our absolute commitment to be a world leader. Kemi Badenoch has also served as a minister, uh, minister in the Treasury. And I want to understand whether she is someone who believes that tax cuts need to come before growth or growth needs to come before tax cuts. That seems to be a dividing line in this election, with the Chancellor, with the former Chancellor, I should say, Rishi Sunak, saying that we can't possibly cut taxes until the economy grows. Does Kemi agree? Well, I think what we need is get back to good old, conservative, responsible fiscal policy, which is, yes, we, we want to be a low tax government. We want to cut tax. We recognise the incredible shock that our economy has gone through over the last two and a half years or so. And we do need to take that into account. Yes, we want to cut taxes, but we have to do it at a time when it's right. We understand the huge challenges that people are facing right now with the cost of living. So we need to look at where we can help where, where we can, uh, but then cut taxes in a way that is responsible. And I think that is Kemi's approach. She's made that very clear, that we want to cut taxes when the time is right and provide focused help to the people who need it most in the coming months. That does seem to be a less effusively tax-cutting position than that of the Foreign Secretary, Liz Truss, who says that there need to be immediate tax cuts. Might that be something that holds Kemi back today? Well, I think what Kemi has been clear is she's not going to make promises she can't keep. She's not going to over-promise and under-deliver. I think people uh, want uh, their, their Prime Minister to be straight and honest with them about the challenge we face, but also be clear about we will help where and when we can. And I think that is Kemi's position. We, we, she will want to cut taxes when the time is right. But what she's not going to do is make promises about what she's going to do on day one uh, and then not be able to deliver those.